This week on The Wire, Economist refutes 10% price drop, 200 loan products but below 2%, and shortages worst in 40 years. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, Economist refutes 10% price drop. So speculation that property prices may fall by more than 10% have been quickly refuted by economists. Now, Commonwealth Bank last week forecast price falls by 2023 as high as 12% in Sydney and Hobart, 10% in Melbourne and Canberra, 9% in Perth, and 8% in Brisbane, Adelaide, and Darwin. Now, economist Dr. Andrew Wilson of Bluestone Home Loans has dismissed the predictions, which he says are based on the presumption of a sharp increase in interest rates. Now, Wilson says while the market may soften in 2022, the predicted price drops are nonsensical. He says rising affordability barriers and lower demand will reduce the pace of price growth, but prices will still grow. Now, Wilson says since 1987, Australia's capital city housing market has experienced only three years where home prices have fallen, and that was 2008, 2011, and 2018. Now, the price declines were clearly modest, falling by just 4%, 4.1%, and 5.1%, he says. Wilson predicts once international borders reopen and migration recommences, that will put upward pressure on home prices. And now for our next story, 200 loan products below 2%. So lenders are continuing to offer low interest rates and incentives to entice homeowners to refinance. Almost 200 lenders are now offering home loans at interest rates of less than 2%, although money warns borrowers do their research to not fall for gimmicks and to fully investigate cashback offers and honeymoon rates. It says mortgages need to have a real quarantine deposit offset account that runs alongside the home loan and nets off the savings balance from the amount owed. Otherwise, borrowers can find them saving themselves or their savings are subsumed into the mortgage and locked up and unavailable for redraw if needed. Now, Mozo analysed the 10 best mortgages for owner occupiers in the market for money. The cheapest was from Wells Home Loans with an interest rate of 1.85%. And that was followed by Police Credit Union and TikTok at 1.89%. Now the comparison rate, which includes fees, is slightly lower at Police Credit Union, while the TikTok offer has a $10 monthly charge for having an offset account. And now guys, moving on to our final story for the week. Shortages worst in 40 years. So material shortages, extreme rainfall and flash flooding are all predicted to continue to affect home building and property prices in the next year. Also impacting the industry is the unprecedented demand caused by the federal government's Home Builder Scheme stimulus, which is driving over 143,000 new builds this year. Now, Scott Brumfield of construction group Hansen Yunkin says pandemic-related international supply chain issues have left Australia with its worst material shortage in 40 years. Delays in sourcing materials from international suppliers, especially, is not a new issue for Australia. Given its geographical location, but one exacerbated by COVID among other factors, and we now have a crisis on our hands, he says. Brumfield says steel prices have increased 15% and lead times are taking up to 18 months. Even before COVID, there were delays in sourcing tiles, vinyl, glass, and aluminium. Well guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.